Welcome to Canada, a North American country stretching from the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic and up to the Arctic Circle. Canada's vast land is beautiful, but a lot of it is uninhabitable. That's why most Canadians live in the warmer South, near the United States border. Since its founding in 1867, Canada has grown into a wealthy, advanced, and culturally diverse nation, speaking both English and French. Like many countries, Canada has a universal government-run healthcare system. This means that Canadians have fewer options for treatment and wait longer for medical care than people in other advanced countries. Instead of paying each time to see their doctor, all Canadians pay high taxes to fund the whole system. They've been convinced that it's better that way. But is that really the case? This is Marcel. He lives in Toronto with his parents, Aline and Fran. Marcel is a huge hockey fan, and he loves playing online computer games. In his free time, he even designs his own games and posts them online for people to play. His dad, Alain, is a software engineer and has been teaching him how to code. This fall, Marcel will be going to a high school with an advanced technology program. He's excited for the computer programming classes that will prepare him for college and hopefully a career in Toronto's tech industry. Marcel and his family are proud Canadians. During the Olympics, Marcel hangs the maple leaf flag in his window and joins his parents to cheer on his country. Marcel's grandpa Henri, who died when Marcel was very young, also spent his life in Canada. After serving in the Canadian Army during World War II, Henri worked as a construction site manager and raised two sons, Aline and Marcel's uncle Jacques. After Henri's death, Jacques moved to the United States, where he works in the biomedical industry. Marcel wonders why his dad and uncle don't talk very much. Recently, his mom explained that they started arguing after Grandpa Henri died from stomach cancer. Jacques thinks that if Henri had traveled to the United States to see a specialist and have surgery instead of waiting in Canada, he would still be alive. He thinks America's privatized healthcare system is much better than Canada's universal one. But Ellen disagrees, and the brothers had many arguments. Marcel isn't sure why Uncle Jacques doesn't like universal health care. What's wrong with a government-run system that treats everyone for free? Marcel knows his family pays a lot in taxes, but that's normal in Canada. And what's wrong with waiting weeks or months when you need to see a doctor? That's normal too, right? To find out, Marcel is investigating the differences between American and Canadian health care. And he's discovering some interesting things. American healthcare is privatized, which means that in most cases, people and their employers pay for it, not the government. American healthcare is very expensive, but the quality of care is among the highest in the world. Unlike Canada, the US has a higher number of specialist doctors compared to general practitioners. It also has private clinics where people can pay for treatment and enough X-ray, ultrasound, and MRI scanners to go around. When the doctor orders an important test, Americans don't wait for months like Canadians. They get that test right away. Marcel learned that the United States is a great place for innovation, medical research, and new technology. In Canada, taxes and regulations make innovation difficult. But with low taxes and free market competition, the United States leads the world in developing medical technology that saves lives. That's why Uncle Jacques moved to the United States. He wanted to study biomedicine and work in that field with the government out of the way. Lately, healthcare has become an even bigger headache for Marcel's family. Demand for treatment remains high in Canada but there are fewer doctors and nurses than ever. So it's been a long time since anyone in the family has gone for a checkup. What really worries everyone is Alin. He's had nonstop pain in his stomach and lower back. Alin finally scheduled a doctor's visit, but 
He had to wait several weeks for an MRI test, and the family is still waiting for the results of a biopsy. Marcel is discovering that free healthcare comes with hidden cost. In a healthcare system paid for by taxes, there's a limited number of doctors, hospitals, and high-tech machines. Because no one can pay for their own machines or medical treatment, the real cost is having to wait a very long time. When someone needs a major operation like back surgery or has life-threatening stomach cancer, like Grandpa Henri, waiting months for surgery means unbearable pain and even the difference between life or death. This is why Canadians make over 200,000 trips outside their country for medical procedures each year. They travel to places like the United States where they can pay for immediate treatment that will improve or even save their life. Marcel is worried. If his dad needs surgery, how many months will he have to wait to get it? When Marcel asked his dad if he would ever consider taking the family to stay with Uncle Jacques in the United States, where he could see a doctor and have surgery immediately, Alain said no. He claimed it would be too expensive and that it would cause Marcel to miss school and lose his spot in the computer programming class that he is so excited about. It's true that Marcel would be disappointed to miss out on his classes, but his dad is far more important to him. From all his research, Marcel is sure that treatment in the United States is the best option, even if Alin still believes that Canada's government-run healthcare system will take care of him just fine. When the biopsy test finally came back positive, the entire family was crushed to learn that Alin had a stomach tumor. He went to Ontario's healthcare board to ask for immediate surgery, and they scheduled it in five and a half months. Alin's pain was already so bad, and there was no telling how much worse the tumor might get in five and a half months. Marcel didn't want his dad to end up like Grandpa Henri. One evening, when he was designing a game to cheer himself up, Marcel found a solution. But he'd have to make a sacrifice. The next morning, he spoke to his mom about it, and then he called the school with the computer programming class and told them he would not be attending in the fall. At first, Alin was very upset. He knew Marcel worked hard to earn his spot at the school. But Marcel said he'd much rather give it up and live in the United States for a bit if it meant his dad could get surgery right away. Uncle Jacques immediately agreed to host his brother's family and help him schedule the procedures he needed. Now, Marcel is confident he knows that with immediate surgery, his dad's chances of making a full recovery are very high. And while Alain still believes there are some good things about Canada's universal healthcare system, he's proud of Marcel for doing the research and making a tough decision. His son's sacrifice gave him the push he needed to travel for healthcare without shame, like many other Canadians. 